Hi, my name is Jonathan Rotz, field agronomist for Pioneer, and today, in this Feed for Thought, I want to be focusing a little bit on soybeans, more specifically, Plenish soybeans and the dairy industry. So, many of you have probably heard about Plenish, but just in case you haven't, let's do a brief overview. What is Plenish? It's a high oleic soybean. Why is Plenish getting so much attention in the dairy industry? Well, there's been multiple university studies that have been published that show Plenish can increase your milk fat or potentially decrease your ration cost based on what's already going in for oleic feed sources. Now, we always like to tell you, make sure you talk with your nutritionist and see if, in fact, this will work for your farm as well. Plenish is a high oleic feedstuff when fed to animals. It has low linoleic content when compared to things like conventional soybeans or the corn that we feed so often in our dairy rations as well. Plenish has this low linoleic content, which is more like our palm oils and some other feedstuffs that we would typically include in a ration. Now, why are these gaining so much popularity right now? Well, this is a continuation of two things. Like I said previously, Plenish has been shown to increase milk fat, and we all know that milk fat continues to be a driver of economics on the dairy farm. Secondly, with the high cost of oleic feed sources currently in the industry, more folks are getting interested in looking at Plenish. Right here, you can see an example of what palm fat has done over the last year, and it gives you a real indication why guys are trying to get more high oleic feedstuffs that they could grow on their own farm. Now, when I go out and I talk with dairymen about Plenish soybeans, I typically get three questions. First question, what's the yield like? Second, what are the almond agronomic traits? And third, how am I going to control some of my tough weeds in a, in a Roundup Ready only system? So let's talk about these three questions here today. First off, when we talk about yield, I would say that Plenish is flat with all of our non-Plenish varieties. Here is an example of some plot data from across Pennsylvania, over 300 locations over these five years, and you can see that Plenish is right in line with everything. When we average all five years, we find that Plenish actually is almost a bushel better than our non-Plenish varieties in the same plots. How about agronomics, question two? Well, when we pull our agronomic traits out specifically only for Plenish and look at them compared to this bottom line, which is our overall pioneer average, we see that our agronomic traits are right in line with everything else that you're used to growing out of the pioneer lineup. Remember in our lineup, nine is the best and one is the worst. And you can see no matter what, whether it be a disease that you're concerned of, harvest standability, things along these lines, Plenish is right in the hunt. How about herbicides? With more and more tough to control weeds and more and more traits and options out there to go over top of soybeans, many are hesitant to think about a Roundup only system. We are working towards having Enlist and Plenish, but that'll be a couple of years until we have it available across a lot of acres. So in 2021, my colleague Kevin Fry and our crop protection counterparts put together a study to look at multiple options for herbicides within the Plenish system. What we found was that early burndown was key. When you look across this, you'll see there was different burndown programs followed by a pre-program, which was applied immediately after planting and a post five to six weeks later. Interestingly enough, across all of these treatments, our herbicides did a very good job at controlling weeds. Why was that? Well, as you can see where the where these plots were sprayed, there were plenty of weeds, and yes, there were some tough to control ones in these as well, mainly focusing on mare's tail, but we also feel confident that we can control other weeds as well. But why did this work so well? It all comes back to that early burn down that we talked about. Getting that start clean and stay clean mentality is really critical in a Roundup only system, as it is any herbicide system. So if you're still unsure, you're still not sure if Plenish is really the right thing for you. Let me just add one more thing and show you how <clears throat> our customers continue to vote yes to Plenish. This is an example of our on-farm sales over the last four years. This is not to brag, but to simply show you that more and more folks are not only trying Plenish, but they additionally come back to Plenish and tell their friends to as well. 
I hope you have found this feed for thought very insightful and informative. I hope also that you have a great growing season and can continue to get the most out of your Pioneer products. If you have additional questions on Plenish, please don't hesitate to reach out to your local sales rep, your field team, or anyone else associated with Pioneer. Have a great one. That concludes this Pioneer Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.